Can you speak a little bit about going on Saturdays without your phone? Because I think <laughs> this is a, a little beneficial way we can get more into the no mind is to spend some time without our little devices. Yeah, yeah. We, uh, my wife and I started this on, uh, we call it screenless Saturdays. And we just throw our phones in a drawer and, and, and go out for a while. And it really started for me about a decade ago. I, I went two months without a phone. You learn a whole lot about yourself and also your friends if you don't have a phone for a couple months. And I was just looking for something to write about, a little stoical experiment that could be fun for me to take on, right? And so as I did that, I learned that I have all of these impulses to twitch for the phone constantly, right? Hmm. And so once a week, I, I try to remove that impulse. There are other ways that I remove it as well. The screenless Saturday is a great way to do it because you might get lost you know, without GPS. What am I going to do? I'll get lost. Okay, so what? <laughs> what's, what's the worst thing that can happen, right? Uh, I, I stop, and I've actually had to stop a few times and ask a gas station for directions. They look at you like you're crazy now but because they're like, don't you have Google? I'm like, no, actually, I don't. I don't have a, a phone. And they're like, oh, okay. And, and it, it's really fascinating to people. But I try to find ways to do that in my life without depriving myself. You know, the minimalism thing is not about deprivation. It's about simplifying in ways to make room for something more meaningful. So another thing that we do at our home here is with my phone and with my wife's phone, as soon as we come in the door, we have a little entryway with a shelf there. And we call it the entryway rule. As soon as we get home, our phone does not follow us around the house. Hmm. Because that means what? Notifications can follow me around. It means everyone can follow me around the house in a way. And so if I need it, I still have access to it. It's over there in the entryway charging. And I can go over there. I can send a text. I can make a phone call. It's almost like having a corded phone once again because I'll have to walk over there to check my messages. And, of course, I, I do all the other things that all the productivity experts recommend, whether it's, um, you know, I, I don't have social media on my phone or I don't have email on my phone. Even though I have a regular iPhone, I have a smartphone, uh, I'm not a Luddite. But the reason I... I I don't have those things. It has nothing to do with the, the apps. It has to do with me. I, I just, I find that I am compelled by impulsive things. And, and I think many of us are, right? And so if I just remove the thing from my pocket, if I remove the app from the phones, then I'm less compelled to you know, fiddle around with it throughout the day. 